Good morning, Golden Desert Speech and Debate judges. We have a video on the speech ballots, but the novice debate ballots are a little bit more complicated, so we want to make sure that we go through those. So the start is the same. We're going to log in. And if you've already clicked start on your round, it will probably bring you right to this screen where you can see your ballots. But if you don't see them, you're gonna just click on your email address up here and then click this current ballots and panels. And then you should see your ballots. Your button will probably say start because you haven't started them yet, but then you'll see ballot. So this time we're looking at the debate ballot. So I'm going to go to my novice debate round and I'm gonna click on ballot. There are two types of novice debate at this tournament. Uh, one that combines LD and policy where they're giving affirmative and negative speeches and one where um, all of the competitors are in Congress and they're giving pro and con speeches. But when we click into the ballot, it takes us to this blank page, which is honestly kind of confusing. So we want to click on this rankings page. That's where all of the notes are, walking you through how the round is judged, walking you through what the score points are. The scores for LD and policy are 30 through 24, like our speech events. The scores for Congress are four through six, so make sure you read the top of your ballot. We put some important information here to make sure that you understand how the online is working, what the students are doing for this particular tournament, et cetera. So there's some important notes up here for you. Just like the speech ballots, we see the video button and the codes, and we have ranks. We are ranking these competitors from the best presentations of their AF and NIG slash pro and con to the least best presentations. But what we don't see here is a place to put in their points or a place to give them feedback like we have on the speech ballots. So this ballot is slightly more complicated. So I'm going to click on the video for AE103. It's going to pull that open in another tab. And then I'm going to have to go back here to speeches and choose that I want to give feedback to AE103. So most of your competitors are, they have their whole speech in one video file. And if they are doing policy debate, it's going to be one partner and then the other partner. If they're in Congress or LD, it's going to be them giving their affirmative or pro speech and then them giving their negative or con speech. But several of the competitors have, like you might open up, one that looks like this and takes you to a playlist and then you'll just watch both videos. So there may be a slightly different way that those videos are presented because they are doing two different speeches. But I'm going to go over to my speech tab. I'm going to choose my kids for their topic. I'm just going to put AF. If it's the AF speech, I'm going to say that it's for that. And then I'm going to give the affirmative speaker feedback. And remember, we we want to keep this feedback positive and useful. So we want to tell them one good thing, minimum, one good thing. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put that in later. I'm going to put one constructive thing. And then I'm going to end with one honest compliment. And I'll come back and I'll fill this in after I watch um, their affirmative speech. And then I'm going to give it some points just so that you can see what happens when we do that. So I'm going to just hypothesize that this speech is an A. So I'm going to give it 29 points and I'm going to save the speech. And when I do that, it's going to automatically generate another speech for me. So remember, we have two speeches for each of these novice debate and congresses. So now this one's going to be the, the negative. So I'm just going to put that up here. It's going to be against. And I'm going to just copy my template from before. I'm going to, again, presume this gets an A, and I'm going to save, and it's going to generate another speech here. 
I'm not going to touch this one because they only have two speeches. So I'm going to go to my drop down. I'm going to pick the next set of kids, go back to my rankings, click on the video for those kids. This one is one of those playlist style videos. So I'm going to watch the AF and then I'm going to watch the NEG. So at the end of the round, it's going to show me the average of the scores that I gave to the speeches. And that's going to potentially help me in what my rankings are. But we may decide, just like in any debate round, that um, a lower pointed speaker was more logical and I'm going to give them a higher rank. And that's totally cool. That's your professional judgment. And at the end, after I've ranked all the kids, I've given them feedback on all of their speeches and speech points for all of their speeches. I'm going to submit my ballot. I'll get a screen asking if I want to confirm the submission for my ballot and I'll hit confirm on that screen and then this ballot will be totally done and I can move on to the next round that is assigned to me. So um, these novice debate ballots, they are more complicated than the speech ballots because we have to make sure that we go over two speeches and that we enter information for each speech that the student is giving and then come back to the rankings and do the rankings at the end um, and use this to get to my videos. Again, reminder, we don't want to open all the videos at once because we want to make sure that we're watching the right kid. So I'm going to open AE103's video first. I'm going to make sure that I have AE103's speeches up so that I'm giving them comments on the correct speeches. And then I'm going to close AE103. I'm going to go back to rankings again. I'm going to click on AK103, go back to speeches, switch who I'm giving comments to and do them one at a time. And every time I write something, I just click save. And then at the end of my round, go back, I give them my rankings, I submit, and I affirm. And we're all done. So thank you so much for judging. We absolutely couldn't do this without you. And we are so grateful that you are putting in this time to help our students get better. Again, if you have any questions, my email is right in all of the instructions. So shoot me an email and let me know what your questions are. Thanks.